27 minutes on the clock. Forcey hair does not mean your hair is hard to manage. I want you to embrace your hair. Oh, why don't you stay? I know it's late. But I'm feeling great And you feel the same So why don't you stay? I need you to stay Hey guys, it's Angie Rush here or Angel Order for it's best for you and today I am going to be doing a cute little wash day routine on my 4C hair. My hair is just filled with gel right now. It doesn't look too crazy, but it looks a little crazy. I honestly wanted to do this video because I wanted to show people, and I've been wanting to show people, 4C hair does not mean your hair is hard to manage. You just gotta learn how to work with your hair. This is just a misconception that I hear all the time, that 4C hair is like the worst hair texture, is so hard, is this and this and that. So much negativity towards 4C hair texture. I've heard it all my life. You straighten your hair because it's good hair. Your hair is always covered. You never show your texture, and I'm trying to cut off that misconception this year for everybody. Like I want you guys to embrace your 4C hair and love your 4C hair. Hello, we have the best hair texture. Our hair holds curls so nicely. Our hair has so much definition. There's so much beautifulness in our hair and I feel like our hair is constantly shit on in the natural hair community. It's so hard to find creators who have my hair because it's either covered or like it's just not out there. Like you only see loose curls. I'm not with it. I want us to embrace our 4C hair or type 4 hair in general and I don't want you to think of your hair as a hassle anymore. I want you to embrace your hair and I want to show you a cute couple tips and tricks since I already like washed my hair a couple days ago I don't need to do this but typically I like to like spray my hair down and just brush it through something that was like a game changer for me was switching from combs to brushes total game changer I really like this tangle teaser I like this wet brush for a while until like my hair started to get snagged in these little like the ball tip of this comb so I really like it's teaser and it just it has just made combing my hair way better and thoroughly combing my hair way better than combs. I go buy a brush. I totally stand by a brush so I'm just using this tangle teaser brush and I've been using it and I really really like it but since my hair is already like detangled I took my hair out of protective style is in a protective style for about six weeks and now my hair is gonna be out for another six weeks because after a protective style, you should give your hair some room to breathe. Try not to go back to back with protective styles. You're doing more harm than good. Your hair should be able to breathe and less tension. Contrary to popular belief, a protective style is also manipulating your hair, such as like you put your hair up and all these things that you do to your hair in those protective styles. And to have healthy hair and have your hair grow more, you want to have less tension on your hair. So after a protective style, at least take a break and give your hair some tension free styles. Before I wash your hair, let me just give you some more tips. Total game changer in my hair routine was putting my shampoos and conditioners in these squeeze bottles. The best, like change the game for me, makes wash day way more easier and you save way more product. I also have like a clarifying shampoo one, which you should have a clarifying shampoo one handy. I use this once a month just to take off the buildup that I've had in my hair. So if you like to put a lot of gel and product in your hair, you need to detox your hair at least once a month and follow it up with a moisturizing shampoo because that strips your hair of all the product in your hair. So I'm gonna be using these two. Um, this shampoo and this conditioner, I don't know what type of, these are just some random shampoos and conditioners I'm trying to get rid of, but get like a good quality shampoo and conditioner because water and like shampoo and conditioning, that's the source of hydration for your hair and that's how you can keep your hair hydrated. And I usually split my hair in just four and I cleanse my scalp and I cleanse twice and then I condition and that's it. So let's jump into the shower, let's make this quick because I want this to be quick. Let me give you another tip. This is for people who have like low porosity hair, high porosity hair, it's not really a thing. Your hair is constantly changing in that state. Your hair is not in one state of porosity. If you think your hair is low porosity because your hair takes forever to get wet, you could just have a lot of buildup. Your hair just could be hella dirty, which is also why you should be clarifying your hair. It will help. But also, let me tell you a trick. Before you wet your hair, get your shampoo. You guys can see that. I do four little sections. It doesn't matter to me how crazy. And then if I want more, I just put it in my hand. So now you have this and you just are dry cleansing. And when you do this, you are literally breaking down the buildup that's on your hair. 
Hear me out, wait with me y'all. I know it looks crazy. I always thought my hair was low porosity and I was like, there's no way. I did this once and my hair got soaked instantly and I was shook, I, I was shook. Try it out, see if it works for you. Oh, it's cold. I'm going to condition and in the same way, but like I said, using these, using these bottles saves you a lot of money. I got mine from Michael's, a craft store, and I went into the cake section. <laughs> Put these in the four sections, random four sections that I'm creating, one down the middle, one on the side, then another on the side. There's a technique called marrying your conditioner. This saves you product and it also lets you get more out of your conditioner. But what this marrying conditioner is, is it's a technique that's used. I can link it in the description because I learned this from Jennifer NYC, something like that. <laughs> I'll link it down below. But um, she taught me about marrying your conditioner. So obviously what that is, is that you're incorporating water while conditioning. So like right now you see the conditioner and I get water and I mix it in. That like hydrates your hair even better and it conditions your hair um, the way it's supposed to. You don't need to add like a bunch of conditioner. Your hair should not be white, opaque from all the conditioning you have in your hair. I'll work smarter, not harder, you guys. I take some water and I like incorporate it into my thing. I usually do it when the, faucet, the water is running, but while the water is running, I take it and I like take a little bit of water and I put it in my hair um, with the conditioner. I take a little bit of water, put it in my hair with the conditioner. And your conditioner actually doesn't have to stay in your hair. You can rinse it like after you're done conditioning your hair and like mirroring your conditioner. You can leave it in longer if you want. I usually wash my body while my conditioner is running. I'm sure a lot of us do. And then I rinse it and I wash my body again to make sure this is soap is on my body. For example, those like conditioners that are like, keep it in your hair for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, that's all you're gonna get from that conditioner. Putting your product in for a long time can do more harm than good. You ever had like, put like product in your hair for a long time and then you rinse it out and your hair feels mushy? That's like over, that's like, I think it's like protein overload or moisture overload. So you can do more harm than good. So just follow the instructions, go by the instructions. They're not trying to, to fool you. That's literally the recommended time. So I'm gonna go marry my conditioner in and wash my body and I'll be back when we're done. This usually is quick, like this, I'm telling you, it's like 30 minutes, 15 minutes, as long as your hair is like tangled before you get in. 4 hair doesn't have to be hard. We are done washing. Now let's go take care of the after process of this hair. I know it's foggy, but I just wanna prove something real quick. This is my timer, 27 minutes on the clock, and that was from literally explaining to you guys and doing this video for you guys. Wash day does not have to be a mission and a half. 15 to 30 minutes in the shower and I wash my body, you guys. And I expected it to take way longer because I'm filming 27 minutes. You don't believe me yet? 4C hair is not hard. This is my hair fresh out the shower. I love my hair. I think it's beautiful. You should think your hair is beautiful too, especially with my shrinkage. Like I'm like, yes, healthy hair. I don't put oils in my hair anymore. I stopped like maybe two years ago. If I put oils in my hair, it's at the end of my hair. It does not mean you have to do that. Do whatever works best for you in your hair. It's just not a necessity in my hair care routine. I really use like a wrap foam or gel. I like using my wrap foam the most and I actually incorporate a serum into my hair. Coconut and milk anti-breakage serum. I've been liking this. I've just been putting that in my hair and then I put my wrap foam in my hair. Just work that through my wet hair because when your hair is wet, it just takes products better. Love the way it smells too. Can I just distribute that all over my hair? After that, I just twist up my hair. Like I said, I had my protective style in for six weeks and now I'm gonna have no protective styling for six weeks. I'm going to do low tension, no manipulation hairstyle. So what that means for me is I'm just gonna put them in two strand twists. I'll show you guys really quick about like one row and then I'll come back when we're like almost done. I take like this small chunk in the back. It's my first like row. Take some mousse. Anybody else have trouble pushing these? Like I feel like my fingers are not that strong. And then I just put that into my hair. And I start twisting and comb it out. It doesn't need to be neat, it doesn't need to be cute. And you remember when you're combing? How are you combing, ladies and gents? You're combing from tip 
to base. And you do it gentle. We're not ripping out any hair. We're being gentle with our hair. As much as people are like, forcing hair is the hardest hair. It's so much this and this. Our hair is extremely fragile. So be very gentle with our hair. It breaks very easily. And just like that, I start twisting. I'm also due for a trim in like the next couple weeks here. I keep up with my trims. I get trims about every 12 weeks. 10 to 12 weeks, I get a cute little trim. I usually try to push it to 12 weeks. Just do a cute little two strand and that's it. This way I don't have to touch my hair. This is very low manipulation on my hair. Here we go. We got two. They don't have to be super neat or anything. And I'll be back with you guys when I'm probably up here because this light is bright as hell. Look at my juicy, juicy, twisty, my juicy twists. They're so, like, they make me so happy. So I have two more up here. Again, I had put mousse already. All this is in my hair is just mousse and the serum you guys saw. I'm going to comb from tips. So far, like, this is all, and then you guys saw there was already hair in here before. Here the last one here. I'm so excited. And that's it. My hair looks awesome. My hair is not wet at all. It's, like, perfect. Sometimes I would use a diffuser, but it's not needed at all right now. And I'm just going to put my bonnet on and go to bed. Just me and my twists. And I'm so happy. I hope that gave you a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of clarity in your washed your routines and a little bit of hope. And stop talking so negatively on your hair. Your hair is not hard to manage. It is not hard. You just need a little bit of water and some shampoo, girl, and a conditioner with some good slip. Your hair is not hard and you speak to your hair. You speak to your hair. So the more you speak and say your hair is hard or your hair is this or your hair is that, the more your hair is not gonna cooperate with yourself. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while. I have so much I wanna say to the natural hair community, but this is just a cute little, cute little snippet just to get started. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And remember, I post new videos every single day, shorts, and on Wednesdays, I try to post main channel videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I love you guys so, so, so much. Remember to be humble, okay? And remember, self-love. It's the best love, and it's not goodbye. It's see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Still getting closer to my dreams. Look, excuse me as I take a step closer to my dreams.